Hello friends, welcome to how to valent channel. In this video, we are going to see the steps involved in restoring an RK login Oracle RDBMS. Let's get started. So, what are the various steps involved in restoring an RK log? So first of all, why do we need to restore an RK log? There are situations where you need to perform a database restore and recovery or there are situations where you need to look back in your in the past to examine what all DML operations have happened, what all changes have happened in the database using log miner. There are many replication utilities which relies on uh, RK logs. So at times you need to probably verify if there were to examine the transactions that happened in the past. So in such situation you may end up doing a RK log restore. And also, if at all you have some standby configuration and you have a gap to fix and you have a backup of the RK log, you can use this uh, method to restore your RK log and uh, get your uh, standby back in sync. Okay, so what are the steps involved? Verify first your control field record keep time parameter and uh, the list of RK logs which are really available and define the goal of which archives we need to restore. Verify if you have the backup for the RK log available and kick off the restore from the Armin. Verify if the RK logs are now showing up in VRR archive underscore log. <coughs> okay, let's get started as usual. This is our screen. Alright, so let's see if. Uh, we have our parameter set up, yep. All our environmental variables are set up. And let's get started with our exercise. So, I'm connecting to the SQL Plus. I'm testing this in 12.201 version, uh, but it is applicable to all the versions of Oracle. All right. So let's check the control field record keep time. The control field record keep time is 60 days already. But if you have it, by default, it will be seven days. What happens if you set it to seven days? Control file is a is a cyclic file. So when it it has some reserve number, say for instance, even though you say seven days, it has some 40K or 50M, 5M or something like that, some size is there for each numbers. By default, it uh, has some minimal value set. So if uh, the size is being exceeded, uh, Oracle will automatically start overwriting the the first entry with the latest entry. So likewise, in a cyclic fashion, the information gets overwritten again and again. So you need to ensure you set it to the sufficient number, even though if you do not set it to the sufficient number, there are possibilities you may see very old information in the control file because it never reached the limit of going back and resetting the original number. But the safest method is ensuring you set it to the proper number. That's the important thing. Okay, It's a cyclic file. So the output is just that. Let's connect it. So That's good. Find out the list of archaeologues which are really available. All right. For this, we need to first connect. So I'm setting this in the OS for me to have proper information retrieved from Armin. Okay, with timestamp. So I'm going to do a cross check actually to see we, what do I have, what we don't have. So okay, I made a mistake in the command. All right, of this, see we have RK log number 15, 16, 17 onwards, we have all the RK logs from 15. All right, so let's check. It actually verifies, hmm, okay. It actually verifies whether the information in the database is valid or not. If you perform the deletion through or the maintenance through Armin 
Oracle automatically catalogs the information. So you don't need a cross check. But if you end up deleting some files from OS, Oracle does not know that. In order to make Oracle learn the changes you made in the OS, you need to run this cross check command. All right, let's now go into the database. All right, so let's verify the list of archives which are showing up for me and the list of archives I really need. Fine, I just fix this command because this will be available as a post as well, guys. So. So these are the list of archives we have. I have 15 archaeologues which is status available and it was completed around 1752 and the first change number is 459810 and the last change number is 460509. This is our first change number and from then on you see this is 15, 16, 17, 18 like that until 36 I have. So the 459810 is the minimum and 772138 is the maximum. So I have all the changes in between. So what is my goal? Okay, I have what I need, but what is my goal? I need to know, right? So I'll tell you what it is. Let me capture this output. All right, what my goal is, I need, now define the goal of which archives we need to restore. I'm looking to restore my RK log which has change 459732. Look at this 459810 is my first ACN but I need 732 and I need that to be accessible for log miner. Log miner is a utility which will be able to read the RK log which you feed it as an input so you don't have to worry. So all we need is to get this back in the recovery destination. Our recovery destination is this. It needs to be accessible from here and Oracle will automatically catalog. Wherever you restore, it knows. As soon as you complete the restore, it knows it will be able to maintain it on its own. So norm I'm, uh, normally it gets restored here, but it will be having the latest timestamp. Though you are restoring for older date, but it will never create it for the older date because Oracle doesn't care. This is the day on which the archaeologue was created, meaning if you do a restore today, it will have today's timestamp only. It will not show us uh, 26th August 2023, no. Alright, let's get started. Let's go ahead and so we define the goal. Goal defined. Alright, so let's write it down. Okay, now next step is. And you see here, I need archaeologue covering the range 459732 accessible for log miner but I am going to restore the archives which has this change minus one so I I will look probably for minus one or minus two four five nine seven three one or seven three zero so I chose seven three zero instead okay so since I have already set up my um, the export command in the OS I should see all of them properly here the information you see here list backup of archaeologue from SCN 459730 so I have a backup and the low SCN is 459 sorry 458962 458 okay is much lesser than this 458 and I have two changes in my backup which is 14 which is 458962 and 459810 so this 459810 is the one I already have. 459810 until 460509. You see here, this is already there. So I don't need 14. I only need this low ACN until this next ACN, 459810. All right. So I don't need 15 sequence number. So all I need to do is restore this. 
and I think if I try restoring it, I'm going to see it as well with you guys. Restore archaeolog from SCM, but I'm guessing it will not restore the sequence 15. Anyway, to just to safeguard my interest, because this is part of a larger exercise, guys. I'm going to preserve this archive, so even if it ends up doing some mistake, I will not lose this archive. All right, let's fire the restore command now. Okay, we got the list. I'm sure it will say that it already exists. It exists and then it'll skip, I guess. So, what did it do? You see here, it already reports. 15 is already on disk, so I don't need to re restore it. Which is this 15. The 15 is already on disk, so it didn't do the restore. But 14 is missing. And so, it read the backup piece and it completed the restore. Right. So, where does it reside now? Let's check the database. All right, so the restore is completed. Now let's again connect to the database and we will verify. All right, now 14 is also in restored and I'll show you just 14's path alone so you know what I told you about the path on which it restores by default sorry it's name not member alright you see here it restored under 30 September 2023, but it is still 14. All right. So we got the file restored and uh, hope you like this video. If you really like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to How to Villain channel. Thank you all. And if you want any more videos in Oracle database and you are facing a specific scenario in Oracle, please feel free to reach out to me through the comment section. I'll post the next video for you. Thank you. Bye.